Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Nick here with Overage Syndicate and wanted to film a quick video for you answering a very common question. And the question is, what are the best states to work in? Or what are the best counties I should focus on? Um, this is a tough question and the reason is I've not done deals in all 50 states yet so i can't give you an answer on where are the best markets to work in because i haven't worked in all the markets um and so since i can't give like actual like specifics because i because if i said oh work georgia but it very well could be that Oklahoma is a great state to work in. But here's the thing for me too, like I don't go based off of when I'm looking at a place to work in. It, it's, it's a tough question because what is your criteria for best county? Is it number of leads? Is it ease of access to data? Um, is it whether you can work without an attorney or not? I mean, what is your criteria? Everyone's criteria for a good, good county is going to be different. And so this question I can't really, I can't really answer because I don't know what your criteria is. And again, I haven't worked every single state. I've only worked in about 10 states in the U.S. So to say... For me to say this is the best state to work in, I can't say that because I don't have the full experience yet. I'm just being honest. I could make suggestions, I suppose, based on my experience, but again, what is your criteria for a good county to work in? Um, I don't know. But here's some tips to help that hopefully will help you try to um, narrow it down. <clears throat> because it is important to narrow down your focus, especially when you're getting started. I do not advise people to cast a wide net. I advise to niche down and to be specific in the areas you work. And I would even go as far as to say, if you're a beginner, you only need one county to start. Uh, you don't need to be working multiple states like I do. Uh, you may not even need to be working multiple counties in one state because what's going to happen if, if you're a beginner is you're going to get all this data and all this information on these different states and counties and maybe you have a ton of leads, but it's going to be information overload and what's going to happen is you're going to have all this data, all these leads, and you're not going to do a dang thing with any of it. Um, how do I know this? Because it happened to me. Um, when I first got started, I started gathering a bunch of lists in multiple counties in one state. And then I got like this high from getting all these leads. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get more lists. So then I moved to different states and I had hundreds of leads from multiple states. Never did anything with them. Um, because a confused mind just will not take action. And so it wasn't until I focused, okay, I'm going to focus on this state first or this county. I'm going to do a deal here, then I'll move to another one. And you build out from there. Like if you're thinking that you're going to jump in and work five states right off the bat, uh, I think that's a mistake personally. Because again, the information overload is too much, especially for a beginner, and you won't do anything. You'll just, you'll quit. Um, so, my advice is narrow down your focus to a state and then a county. And you start there and build out. That's my, that's my advice from, of where you should start. Now, criteria for choosing a county. Things you should consider. Number one, population size. 
Um, obviously, the greater the population, the more chance of foreclosures and tax sales. Pretty straightforward. Uh, second thing is ease of access to data. Are the county records online? Are court records online? Or do you have to physically go down to the office? Is there a way to get access online via subscription? These are good questions to ask. Is how difficult is it going to be to get access to the data that you're going to need? Caveat to that, if it's very difficult to get access to data, you may want to forego that county, or you could also take that and be and and say, okay, if I can figure out a way to get the data, then it's very likely that you're not going to see a lot of competition. Because here's the thing, like, I know when, when people are asking what's the best county to work in, Really what you're asking is, what's the least path of resistance? What's the easiest way to get started? That's not a bad thing. Just know the easier it is, the more competition you're gonna deal with. The harder it is, the less competition. And if you can figure out difficult areas to work in, um, you're that much above, I mean, you're, you're at a higher level already because you're not dealing with competition. Um, I found this out in one of my markets. Court records are not public unless you go down to the courthouse in one of my markets. However, what I learned is I could get a subscription to the court records and access them from my home computer. Um, very few people know about it. And so that gave me a competitive advantage. So, what am I saying? If you wanna go the path of least resistance, you can do that, that's fine. Just know you're gonna be working in a, a bigger pool. Of, of, it's possible there may be other people doing it. But if you can figure out areas that are difficult, you are working in a smaller pool as far as competition goes. It's kind of a double-edged sword, right? So you have to make a judgment call. Do you want to go to the path of least resistance and compete? Or do you want to take a little more time, a little more research and digging, and figure things out to where you have a competitive advantage. So those are two things, those are two key things that you will, may want to consider when you're looking at a potential state or county to work in. Population size, access to data, court records, county records, things of that nature. Um, and that's, that's what I look at, guys. Like, when I'm moving into a new area, I'm looking at how big is the area? Is it sustainable? Is there enough foreclosure activity going on or tax sales going on? And how easy is it going to be for me to get data? So that's my advice as far as picking, you know, what's, what's the best state or county to work in? Um, again, I've not worked in all of them, so I don't know yet. I don't know which one's the best. And again, what's your criteria? What are you using to, to determine what a good county is or not? I've shared with you my criteria. Um, population, access to data. So hopefully those are some a couple tools you can use to narrow it down. And again, if you're a beginner, I suggest narrowing down to one state and one county until you get one deal done, then branch out. I do not suggest casting a wide net, trying to work multiple states at once. At a minimum, just choose one state and work maybe a couple counties, max, if you're a beginner. Um, I hope that helps. If you want more guidance, you can check out my course over at syndicate.com. 
or enroll directly at school.overagecourse.com. Ask questions below. Um, a lot of we get into a lot of specific tactical advice in the course. That's what it's there for to help and serve you. Um, but again, if you have general questions, let me know and maybe I can shoot another video on it. And that's all I have for you guys. Have a great day. Bye.